Hello, and welcome to Formstack. In this video series, I will take you through an overview of our platform, introducing you to our three core products, Formstack Forms, Formstack Documents, and Formstack Sign. We will not only review how these solutions work separately, we will also explore how to use them as one unified platform to streamline your processes. For these videos, we will be using an example of creating a new hire form, which generates a PDF to be delivered for signature. In this first video, our focus will be on data collection using Formstack Forms. Specifically, we will cover how to build a form to collect the necessary information for our new hire. Let's talk about creating a form. To start, you simply click the Create Form button on the top right. Once you select this option, you will be prompted to choose if you want to create a form, a survey, or a workflow. How are these different? A form will be static, with fields that can be used for collecting information from an individual. A survey will also be static, but it will show one question at a time on the screen. Workflow is a multi-step form that allows multiple people to fill out on the same form, each with their own step or section. If you don't see this as an option on your account and would like to add it, please contact your Formstack account manager. For this example, we're going to create a simple form. Once you select this option, you will be prompted to name the form as well as have the ability to place it in an existing folder. From there, you have the ability to start with a blank form or a template. Formstack's repository of templates can provide you with an excellent base that you can customize to your liking. For today, we're going to build our own form from scratch. The section we are in now is called the Builder. Here is where you will drag and drop fields to create your form. Customize the look and feel, as well as create sections to organize the layout. From the builder, you will notice a blank space on the right hand side to build out your form, and all the available fields to drag and drop into your form on the left. Fields are classified in two areas, basic and advanced. You will see basic fields at the top and advanced fields at the bottom. Using our previous example, let's start creating our new hire form by selecting and adding fields to our form. I'm going to locate the fields that I wish to add, select them, and then drag and drop them in the form on the right hand side. In our example, we need to collect some data regarding an individual's contact information. As a result, I'm going to select a name, an email, phone number, address, short answer, and a radio button field. Once selected, I will drag and drop them over to the form and drop them to their desired location. Once a field has populated on a form, you can click or highlight that field to expand the field properties and customize as needed. The available field properties will appear on the left hand side of your screen. You will notice the general field options available to all fields at the top and field specific options on the bottom. Under the general options, you can change the name of the field make a field required, or simply hide the field altogether. Under field specific options, you can customize the information gathered based on your field selection. For example, if you selected the name field, you could add the ability for the individual filling out the form to add their middle initial, middle name, prefix, or suffix. Going back to our example, let's customize our new hire contact form field. I'm going to make all of our fields mandatory by clicking on the required box while in the field settings. In addition, I will change the label for the short answer to name of the position you accepted and the radio button to how did you hear about us? Please note that you will see that these changes will populate in real time as the form is always live. To create choices for the radio button field, scroll down to the field specific options and change the default label to meet your needs. For our example, I will add different ways that our submitters can select. Let's add LinkedIn, Indeed, Colleague, and other. As you can see, you can add or subtract additional options using the plus or minus buttons on the right hand side. Now that we have all of the fields that we need for our contact form, let's jump over to the Style tab. The Style tab, located in the upper left hand corner of your screen, is where you can customize the look of your form. You have the option to select from a list of pre-made themes or create your own custom one. When creating your own custom theme, you can edit the font type, color, and size as well as utilize your own custom CSS to ensure that the style is in line with your brand guidelines. 
Let's go ahead and see how our form looks and behaves by clicking on the View Live Form button on the top right. You can click this button at any point in time to test your form out. We're going to go ahead and fill out a test submission and take a look at this later. Now that we've reviewed how to customize the look of your form, let's talk about a few other points of interest. On the top right hand side of your screen, you will notice a tab for settings. Settings is where you can go to find options such as emails and actions, welcome and submissions, security features, and integrations. We will touch more on integrations, specifically Formstack documents, in a later video. Next to settings, you will notice a share tab. Here, you can explore the multiple options you have for sharing your form. On this tab, you will notice that you can either share a standalone or hosted link to your form, or you can use an embed code option if you'd like to add your form to a web page. The last tab that we're going to cover is our submissions page. From this page, you will be able to view and filter the submitted data from your form. Each submission will be listed as a row, which can be clicked into for additional information, such as read, unread, date, or a custom filter of your choice. Moving to the right, you will notice an option to export all of your data as needed. Moreover, if you select one of the submissions from the table, you'll have the option to export that single submission or delete it if needed. Another option worth mentioning while we're on this page is the ability to create scheduled exports by clicking on the button on the top right. Scheduled exports can be sent daily, weekly, or monthly, and can be sent with all submissions or with the filter that you've created in the submissions table. Please note that scheduled exports can only be sent to other users on your Formstack account. In today's video, we showed you how to create a form and some of the features and options available in your Forms account. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please remember that you can always click on this eye icon on the top right to get in touch with our support team, or search for any useful articles on our site. In our next video, we will be covering Formstack documents and how to build your first template. Thank you for watching.